From restaurants to retail stores, you may have seen QR codes being used to businesses all over the borderland. But the Better Business Bureau says QR code scams are popping up across the country. ABC 7's Brianna Chavez explains what you need to know to protect yourself. QR codes have been great contact list tools for local businesses to use during the pandemic, but scammers are taking notice too. So here's how the scam works. Say you're scanning a QR code or you receive a text or email with a QR code attached. When you open up the link, it could end up taking you to a phishing site. The BBB says that many times, depending on the link that you're using, if it starts asking for personal information, that's a sign that it could be a scam. But it can be things like personal information, very similar, like, you know, what was your first pet's name? Things like that, so that they're creating these databases of information about you, and it helps them figure out how to identify your passwords and things like that. QR codes are still very useful, but the BBB says it's important to be aware of these sites and to never type out your personal information unless you verified with the person or business that you're working with. It's not like to say you can't use QR codes if you're in a restaurant. You know the source, you're, you're right there using it. But if you see a QR code that looks like it's been uh, manipulated or a sticker on top of a QR code or something like that, there's a little signs that you should just take a second look and make sure that it's from the source that you're trying to work with. To report a scam, you can visit the BBB's website and even visit its scam tracker. That's where you can see any other reported scams across the borderland. And we do have those links on our website, kva.com. Brianna Chavez, ABC7.